Howdy y'all. It's David, your favorite Roan Ranger from the SFWTC. After a long day in the saddle, you know how I like to wet my whistle? With wines from the Roan. Let's get started with some rosé. Ralph? There you go, partner. This is a Cote de Rhone rosé made by the Domaine de Affiance. It's a blend of 50 Grenache, 40 Sanso, 7 Moved, and 3% Cunoise. Uh, this is a really nice producer. Uh, they're farming their grapes uh, biodynamically, so everything's done without pesticides and fertilizers. The winery is gravity fed, so they don't use any pumps. Um, it's a very gentle way of moving the wine from uh, the vessels um, in the cellar. The wine is fermented in concrete and it's bottled without filtration. So the end product is a dry, uh, classic Rhone style of rosé, uh, red fruited, super fresh, really food friendly. Perfect for our Indian summer we have coming around the corner. Great thing to uh, you know, take the edge off while I'm dusting off my spurs. And a terrific value at $15.95. Really nice wines from a great producer. We're going to move on, uh, but remain in the Southern Rhone. Ralph, now we're trying a Cote de Rhone from the Cote de de Beaucastel. This is made by the Perrin family, who is uh, most famous for their Chateauneuf de Pop, the Chateau de Beaucastel. Um, because this appellation is basically across the street from the border, uh, it is labeled as a Cote de Rhone. Uh, but don't be, don't be deceived. Uh, this is a wine from one of the most storied producers in that area, and it offers uh, exceptional value. Um, this blend is uh, 30 Grenache, 30 Moved, 20 Syrah, and 20 Sanso. Uh, the wines for, are aged for six months. Um, classic a Cote de Rhone, uh, red fruited, medium bodied. It's got the Garrigue character. And when we're looking at the topography or the, the terroir of the Southern Rhone, um, we're dealing with Galais. There are very large stones that retain heat. Uh, the vines here aren't trellised uh, like you normally see. Um, they are, they almost look, I mean, they're really old vines. They look like almost like uh, gnarly black hands, like coming out of the soil. It's, it's really a really striking thing to see. Um, and you kind of get that, that savage struggle, the character and the wine when you taste it. These are $29.95 and a terrific value. I love these wines. And we're gonna finish in the Northern Rhone. So versus the kind of flatter, warmer area that we were dealing with um, in Chateauneuf de Pop and the Cote de Rhone, uh, we're now dealing with uh, granite hillsides at a very steep slope, uh, very difficult to work. Um, and this is uh, from just outside um, the Cote Roti Appalachian. Uh, partner, saddle up. This is uh, the Vindepe, the Colline Rodin Yen. And uh, this is not my first Cote Rodeo but it's pretty delicious. Uh, Chambéron makes the wines um, in a very similar style because, uh, the, again, these vineyards, uh, like the Caudelet, are literally just outside the border of the Appalachian. So they leave some of the uh, berries on the stems. Uh, the wines are basket pressed. They're aged in larger barrels, 400 liters, versus others which are typically just over 300. Um, and uh, they're aged for 10 months. So what we get here is a very savory, uh, meaty, dark-fruited style of Syrah. We got lavender, prairie fire, meat fresh off the queue. This is, uh, this is what I'd have with my cowboy breakfast. Another wine offering exceptional value because it's just outside the Appalachian. Um, and this is coming in at twenty three ninety five. So, I hope you uh, you enjoyed the show. If uh, you're interested in acquiring any of these wines from the SFWTC Ponderosa, 
Uh, there will be a link below. We're going to put together a nice little party pack for you to enjoy the weekend. Um, we hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Give us a like if you're a fan, and follow us to uh, see what comes next. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>